And welcome, I'm Barbara Lee Edwards. This is part of our series of interviews with mayoral candidates. And joining me tonight is Jarvis Gandhi. Thank you so much for coming into the studios to speak with us tonight. And thank you for having me. You were a write-in candidate. What made you want to enter this race? Well, I want to enter this race because, you know, I lived in San Diego for quite some time. And uh, I do have a heart of hearts for San Diego. There's a lot of issues that have not been uh, taken care of and I do want to be able to, to, to handle that, those issues. One um, of the biggest issues we have right now is the housing crisis and there are layers to it. There's not enough inventory out there. What is available for sale is very, very expensive, but just out of reach for most people. Do you have a plan for that? I do have a plan for that. Um, you know, uh, as you, we all know, Governor, uh, Governor Newsom has signed in a bill to uh, help you know, homelessness, you know, if we're going to talk about that for people uh, to go into the vacant houses, we can use some of the vacant, ho vacant housing. Mm -hmm. And, um, but I have a plan that I, I want to have a sort of like an Uber effect to whereas I'm going to be trying to talk to a lot of the nonprofit um, agencies to subsidize rents. And I will be partnering with a lot of the uh, the landlords um, and the homeowners here in, in the city of San Diego. The beauty of this, it's not only going to be for local and state, it's going to be a national plan that I'm going to be able to implement for that. When you talk about subsidizing rent then, it's so, sort of something like a Section 8, but you're taking it a step further because a lot of people say that's really not enough in this day and age. And that is correct. That is correct. But if we, uh, as privatized you know, uh, individuals, and be able to help subsidize this, then we could take this to another level uh, where, we're, where we're still trying to structure and figure out our, our affordable home and housing and so forth and so on. And you want to do that at a national level as well? Uh, it, it will be. It's a win-win situation. It's going, to go, it's going to go national as well. All mm -hmm. right. Um, Mayor Faulkner has touted his road repair program, fixing a number of things in the cities. He really focused on potholes as part of the infrastructure repair. The Get It Done app was out there. What would be your priority when it comes to San Diego's infrastructure? Because there is so much of it that needs repair. Well, and I do know that, you know, last year we had about $29 million allocated from the trans tax TLT. And here's the situation. The majority of San Diegans are just really, really tired of, of SANDAG dictating where their money is went. And so, so, so my theme and, and my slogan is, where is your money going, San Diego? Um, I will deliver, you know, and on that note, I'll say, let's make history. But so instead of just paving many, many miles and patching, that won't be under my administration. You know, under my leadership uh, as mayor, we're going to fix those problems in real time. And what I mean about it in real time, we have to remember that when you live in a home, uh, whether you're renting or buying, you have the right that your problems be abated. So these have these problems. These the, our, our potholes have not been abated, and I'm going to take on the side of the majority of San Diegans to let's get that done. We're talking about pipes under the street too. We've had a lot of water mains bursting at times when we're being told to save water. So, you know, there again, that's another problem with several layers to it. Where would the budget come from for something like that if you're planning on going even further with that scope? Well, that's so true and that's very, very dangerous. And you know, if you, we, I just read a clip on China losing a bus to potholes. So it's a very dangerous, but I have a plan also that uh, and I can't go much into it at this particular time, but I will. That's also local. It's going to help every mayor in every city. It's going to go national. And that's an economic plan to help bring in. I think we have a project of $100 million uh, for the budget uh, of the city of San Diego. So uh, moving forward, I would like to say that I'm probably the only mayor that's going to be able to match that with my economic plan. But this is something that you've already researched and you do have the budget for it. You just haven't laid it all out yet. Well, we, 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 do, have the, we do have the budget for it. And here's where the budget's going to come from. The budget, we're going to reach out to every small business in the United States. And this is, again, national. So it's going to benefit all of us. Uh, but we here in the city of San Diego, we're just going to be, um, we're going to be the ones who are going to implement so uh, we're going to be prime examples. So it's going to be unprecedented things under my term as mayor. 
Climate change is a huge issue, obviously, all around the globe, the United States, and people here in San Diego seem to be pretty climate aware, if you will. Um, we've made some changes already with some communities banning styrofoam, plastic utensils, things like that. Where do you see us falling short as far as being able to better look after our environment? Well, I do think that, you know, <clears throat> we need to, to, to be more, you know, get into more green, uh, you know, um, aspects of, of what, we're, you know, what we're doing. And I think that we can add those even when we are talking about some type of housing. Uh, for instance, we can maybe use bamboo uh, to build some type of homes. But uh, climate change is, is very important to me. I think we have to under, understand the science of, of climate change. Uh, I believe the world spins around the sun uh, at a certain pace. And I, I don't think that it's, I think we have to really, really look and see what is causing it more. That's my take on it at this point. More than addressing it in the moment, you want to do more research on exactly I, I, why things I, are headed I, in the I, direction I, they I, are. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, Frank, Mayor Faulkner has had a complicated relationship to the White House with the White House when it comes to immigration, what's been going on along our border. Um, how would you navigate those waters as mayor of San Diego to try and repair that relationship or handle the situation that's happening along our border? You know, and so, so border, uh, border control is very, very important to me. Um, and I've, I've spoken with um, some Latino lawyers, uh, you know, regarding border control, and I'll be wanting to speak with a lot of others. Um, so uh, we have, I, I think, um, a good track on um, our immigration system. We just have to make it better, you know. And so, what do you see working? Um, I see working. Um, for us to to just make sure that you know when we do uh, when we do deport you know that we're deporting in the right form and fashion and if we do have sanctions sanctuary cities you know that we do make sure that you know the people that we are capturing are, are just well taken care of um, and and sent back properly you know, um, I, I don't I don't want to see any type of corruption in any type of way or any children being harmed in, in this aspect. Is there anything that you have watched over the last couple of years in particular in regards to immigration and what has been going on along our border that you would change? Not at this point, not at this point. Um, I'd have to see probably another five months you know, to a year of what's, you know, what our current administration it has. Uh, but I, I don't see a lot at this time. Okay. Mm -hmm. If I was going to say to you, as somebody who is not familiar to a lot of San Diegans, because you're not, you are a writing candidate, so a lot of, you have to really introduce yourself mm -hmm. to San Diego voters. What would you say to them? Why should they vote for you? Well, I, I would say, you know, that they should vote for me again, because I'm the only candidate who has an economic plan. And if you understand, if someone says, say economics to me, you know, I want America to know that you cannot have a great economic plan if you don't have fairness. So fairness has to be an equation. Uh, fairness uh, in housing, fairness in job discrimination. Uh, you know, and, and there can be no fairness in job discrimination. And so my point to saying that we cannot have covert uh, racism, you know, here in the city of San Diego. We have to grow. We have to grow as a city. And we need to change the course that we're, that we're going. Uh, out there, all of my, um, all of my <coughs> people that who took my pen and signed me up as a, nomina you know, as a nominating person, they already knew, they felt it in their hearts, their heart of hearts. Um, so they were saying that they want change and we do need change. And so I think, you know, we're gonna to get to that point. We're gonna to get to that point. We're gonna make it, we're all gonna win, win, win. But um, so, so to have a great economic, to have great economics, you need fairness, you need due process. And I think that's what we're gonna have here in the city of San Diego. 
Where can people find out more information about you in the way of a website or a Facebook page that will start to lay out these plans? Because you, you have alluded to a lot of plans. You didn't want to give out all the details of them just yet, but you understand that voters would want to know some of those details Ab before going to the polls. Yeah, absolutely. So they can go to Jarvis Gandy um, for mayor, the number four, mm -hmm. mayor.com. They can also join me on my radio show uh, and they can call in at 914 two zero five 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 zero and that's going to be on every Saturday from 5 to 7 p.m. Uh, and so that's where they can go and they can see me on Facebook at Jarvis Gandy for mayor dot com and you want people to reach out to you absolutely you discussion going yes all right Jarvis okay. Gandy mayoral candidate for San Diego I'm Barbara Lee Edwards thanks for joining us mm -hmm.